the fun of an inspection. That's what I'm doing this morning in the heat of Florida. Though, you know what's weird? I'm down here in Florida right now and doing my walk around inspection. It's actually cooler down here in central Florida than it was up in Minnesota. I found that odd. I don't know. Let me shut this door and finish my walk around, doing my inspection, making sure I got everything I need. Temperature's good. Tires, good. Fuel level, good. Trailer tires, good. So far, everything's good. How does the song go in the Lego movie? Everything is good, everything is great. Everything, I don't know how the song goes. I've never seen the Lego movie. What kind of geek am I? Oh, fire up this truck. Fire up the truck. Is my hair okay? Is my hair okay? I'm sitting here in Lakeland, Florida. Well, I'm not sitting. I'm waiting for a stoplight to change. Just seen the weirdest thing, the weirdest thing. The girl that just turned that way, there was two people in the car and the passenger was trying to light a spoon on fire. Never seen that before. I'm trying to get my hair looking decent. Don't think I can do it. I washed it last night. It's all poofed up, but I do have a hat. I have a hat. So that helps quite a bit. Welcome everybody to an almost daily vlog slash daily vlog. I'm kind of incorporating both videos into one channel. Though this video, the daily vlog channel, I'm kind of splitting up. I'm putting it on the almost daily vlog channel and the daily vlog channel. Just in case some of the subscribers over there are not subscribers on the almost daily vlog. For a short period, maybe a week or so, I'm going to post the daily vlogs on both channels. Did I mention welcome? This is a daily vlog slash almost daily vlog. I did, didn't I? So I'm just doing that to fill content on the almost daily vlog channel and to start luring people over because I'm not sure if people are finding the daily vlog channel. But anyway. I am down here in Lakeland, Florida, delivering a load to the Publix Distribution Center. And uh, I wanna show you guys something that's right out there, right over there. We're gonna take a walk in just a minute. Then once I show you that, I'm gonna come in here, clean my truck. I got some cleaning supplies. I'm gonna disinfect, dust, vacuum, make my bed, get things packed up because I'm not sure what's going on. I'm scheduled for days off for Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then returning back to work Monday, hopefully later in the afternoon. But because today's only, what is today? Today's Tuesday. Today's only Tuesday and I'm back so early. I don't know if they're gonna keep me busy all week. I don't know if they're gonna say, hey, we got a load for you to go up to Atlanta. If you shoot up there, we'll get you another load heading right back to Florida for Friday. Or they may just say, we can't keep you busy all week. You're gonna to have to take a whole week off if you want Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So that would put me starting tomorrow, Wednesday. So that'd be Wednesday, Thursday, then Friday. So I'd be taking three extra days off work. Like how I do my math, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then Saturday, Sunday, going back to work Monday. That's six days. I don't, I don't want that many days off. I just need Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because Roxanne Riskin and her husband are flying down from Connecticut I'm gonna do a quick meet up with them, enjoy their company, and then do some vlogging around Universal Studios and some Disney and some International Drive stuff, weather permitting. So I, I'm not sure, I'm riding my motorcycle down. I was just checking out the weather for this coming weekend and it looks like we're gonna have rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I, I don't know how well everything's gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a shot. But just in case uh, they're gonna have me take six days off, I'm sure they're gonna have some local person 
operate my truck at least one of those days so I want to have my truck all cleaned it's been lived in I haven't been home in a month so it has that lived in feel right now I need to do laundry need to dust and clean up so I'm gonna do that but first let me take you over here and show you a little something from the incidents that happened last week and, and I'm not talking about the Pulse night, nightclub shooting but I'm talking about specifically what happened at Disney and a lot of tourists come to Florida I don't know why they come during the summertime it's hot it rains every day winter time if you're a tourist and you want to come to Florida come around October uh, maybe September and you know around those type of months where it doesn't rain every day hurricane seasons over with we, you won't have that heat and that humidity but uh, if you're coming down on vacation <coughs> this time of year expect afternoon rain showers every day it rains every day but last week on Disney property at the Grand Floridian Resort I believe they were from Canada. They came down to Florida to enjoy a nice vacation. And their vacation turned into a nightmare when they were out on the beach area around the Seven Seas Lagoon. Is that the Seven Seas Lagoon? Or Bay Lake? I, I don't know. What what the, the, You get the lake and then where the Grand Floridian is, they did a cutout to kind of expand the lake a little bit. It's all swamp water. It's a man-made lake. A lot of people told me, well, we're under the uh, influence that Disney built that lake, that it's a man-made lake. Yes, it is. Disney made that lake. It's a man-made lake. But the water that comes in comes from the Green Swamp area, the Reddy Creek uh, Water District, and all, all the water from all the streams feed that lake. That lake was actually kind of a swamp slash orange grove swamp swampy area when they started digging it so all the swamp water fed into that lake so there is alligators in there someone uh, told me last week they go Disney should be able to keep all the alligators out of that water you can't you can't it's a swamp they dug it out they dug out a swamp to create a beautiful lake uh, you can't keep the alligators out and then they and then someone also shared with me there has not been an alligator in that lake for over 45 years what where they got that info I have no idea you could if you had a boat and you went out on the lake at nighttime shining flashlights you would see little orange dots all through the water those are alligator eyes there's al always been alligators in there it's Florida it's Florida so tourists coming down, if you have really small children, don't go in any body of water that you don't feel safe. I mean, you go to Disney, you think you should feel safe because it's Disney property, but it's water. It's water. What I'm gonna show you right now is just a little drainage ditch. Just a little drainage ditch where if it rains, water fills up in there and, and it, it goes away and then it rains more water comes back in there and just to show you that every little body of water whether it's a puddle can get an alligator in it they live here this is their native habitat we kind of invaded on them so if you live in Florida and you and you go by any body of water expect alligators so if you're a tourist and you have small children you have pets try and avoid freshwater spots or if you if, if you do come across them it doesn't always mean an alligator is going to attack you because alligators are kind of afraid and I'm getting messages I'm getting messages I'm getting messages maybe they're going to keep me busy all week but expect there to be alligators in the water and it, even if there's not alligators we have cotton mouths slash water moccasins everywhere too so if if you have little children they're out there playing and say hey you know stay you know stay in eyesight stay close don't go running off and and don't go in that water go in the swimming pool let's see what we got let's see what these messages are load assignment da, 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 da. on the 18th what's the date today 
how am I going to be in Austin, Minnesota? Okay, that's this this delivery. So it's telling me to go back to the yard. They want to work on my truck after this. So if they're going to work on my truck after this, that probably means I'm not going to be busy. But let's walk out there before I start cleaning the cab of my truck. Let me show you uh, just proof, proof that alligators can be anywhere. This is just a side of a road. Look how little this little baby puddle is. See that? That's just a little baby puddle. There's not always even water in there. But look, we do have signs posted everywhere. We have signs posted everywhere because there's alligators. We have alligators in the state of Florida. So even if there's no signs posted, just assume it. Just assume. Just assume that we that there's alligators there. And if there's no alligators, there's probably snakes. You always just have to be careful. Always be careful. So anyway, I'm back in my truck. Just wanted to show you guys that. It's, let me put my camera up here on my dash. If I can, if it'll stay, tilt, and swivel. I feel really bad it, it, that, that that tragedy even happened. But it, is it gonna hurt tourism? No, no, it's not gonna hurt tourism. But a child lost his life because they weren't aware. They weren't aware. So hopefully this video will let you guys know next time, when, next time you're in Florida, just be careful. Just be careful where you walk, how close to a certain water you get. There's no guarantee an alligator's gonna jump out of the water. You could swim with them. I, I, I used to swim with alligators all the time up in Lady Lake. Our, our little swimming hole was filled with alligators. But you go in the water, they kind of disappear. They get, they avoid you. Now at a at, at a place like Disney or stuff, sometimes people feed them. Alligators become not afraid of humans. They get closer and closer, and they think you're going to give them food. Next thing you know, they attack somebody, and that's probably what happened at Disney. Oh, enough sad stuff. I have more sad stuff to talk about, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. Right now. I'm going to clean this cab. Bed is made. It's nice and clean in here. Lots of roominess. Clean. Clean my dash. So my gauges. Everything's nice and clean. And when I get out of my truck for the next few days, this stuff's going anyway, so that's all going to be gone. I will probably be leaving BB-8 and my Weeping Angel bobblehead. But other than that, everything else is going. So, I'm pretty much done. If I can get this thing right. Other than, other than, smell good. Smell good. I love this stuff. You guys ought to try it. It's way better than Febreze. Though it smells good in here because I mopped to the floor, cleaned the floor. Look at my hair. Definitely need a haircut. But, just a couple sprays around gets rid of any existing odor body odor from sitting in my chair all day but it really doesn't smell bad in here anyway it's not too bad so if anybody drives my truck they're gonna say wow I'm gonna drive this guy's truck again because he keeps it clean clean which always wasn't the case it wasn't always the case but when Amy was running around with me and we were out here on the road together she did a really good job of keeping the truck clean. That was her chore, keeping the interior cab design, not the design, but keeping the interior clean. And she did an amazing job. It, me, I've never been that amazing at keeping my living quarters clean. Try and keep stuff organized, but never really cleaned. Never dusted much maybe once a month and and never really wiped down stuff disinfected or cleaned look how clean that is that's my floor never really clean the floor but having her with me i she taught me 
that it's not that difficult to do, not that difficult to keep your living quarters clean. Actually, speaking of significant others, I've been getting quite a few tweets here and there asking questions. Well, not quite a few, about three or four, um, asking where, where, what's going on? How come you're traveling by yourself now? For a while, I thought you were doing, you were traveling with your girlfriend. And yes, I was. It was pretty amazing. Uh, I don't think about it too often unless someone brings it up in a tweet or I'm coming home from my days off and you get that feeling, that feeling like something's just not there. Something's just not complete, complete. Though th some things are complete, some things are not complete. Uh, sometimes you get those people in your life that tell you you're going to fail, that you try new stuff, you try and, and be creative, you try and do things, but then there's people in your life that tell you you're going to fail. It, it's stupid. What's the stupid stuff you're trying? It, it's going to fail. You know, and, and, and that makes you afraid to try new things. It, you know, it just, it, it, it kind of freezes you from trying stuff. Or doing stuff like these vlogs or like the podcast or like uh, working on books or, or creating t-shirts or whatever whatever your creative outlet is those were mine and and being told constantly you're gonna fail you're gonna fail you know and it, it, it kind of gets you it, it leads you to a path you always hear that story there's a, a, a path with a fork in the road. You can either go right or left. And left being just keeping on with the same old, same old, hoping that you're just gonna be happy, but always wondering what if, what if, what if I would've took that other path? Well, it came to the point in my life where I took that other path and uh, I don't know if I regret it because sh that person might have been right because I'm not sure if I'm going to fail. I'm going to continue doing and doing and doing because I took that other path. So I'm going to continue uploading videos pretty much on a daily basis and an almost daily basis for my other channel and an almost daily basis for my podcast and, and learning new things like aerial photography and and stuff like that and then try and figure out how that can all fit into what I'm doing I'm gonna continue doing that but the you know then you get those days where you look at your subscriptions your viewer accounts and all this stuff and it starts getting into your head what if I was wrong what if I threw away even though there was negativity there and I seriously don't want negativity in my life but what if that negativity was actually right what if what if you do fail but then you you think to yourself well at least I tried at least I tried you know but trying sometimes you lose things you lose things and because I took that other path I lost what was on this path so that's the reason I'm traveling by myself right now so anybody on Twitter that watches this I hope I answered your question in a roundabout beat around way uh, did I mess up maybe and maybe I didn't maybe I did it's still early uh, we'll find out if I did there's not much I could do about it now not much I can do about it except continue on continuing continuing with the path that I guess I have chosen and uh, we'll see where that leads we'll see so if, if, if the people that ask those questions don't subscribe to my YouTube channel or my podcast channel subscribe help me help me feel better about my decision uh, okay enough of answering those questions so what I'm gonna do now I have time to kill I have time to kill there's going to be an unboxing later tonight uh, on another video. 
I ordered something, it arrived from Amazon today. It arrived, I got the notification that I, I got something, I wanna do an unboxing. It has to do with my drone. So I, I'm gonna keep that a surprise. Not that it's gonna to be too exciting, but it is for me. So if it's exciting for me, I hope it's exciting for you. But I'll be doing that later, probably about five or six o'clock tonight, and then uploading after that. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video right now, and uh, because there's gonna be a lot of videos over the next couple days, a lot of videos. You're gonna to get too much Glass Geek. Can there be too much Glass Geek? I don't know. But please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Sorry about the bummer about the alligators and talking about the misfortune that happened last week on Disney property. I just want people to know we do have alligators here. Keep a very close, if you're coming down for vacation, keep a very close eye on your children and your small pets. And if you have small pets, specifically dogs, and you're out walking them by the water, be very careful. Be very, very careful. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I love you all. Peace.